Hello, welcome to Women at the Frontline here on Civic Space TV. We are delighted that you're here with us uh, on this special program where we bring to you women impacting society in our community here in our country, Uganda. And today I am delighted to be talking about a topic so unique but also very important in our society today. And the person who is going to take us through, who is doing a lot in this area, is Janat. Katana, I will stop there because your other name is a bit complex. I may mess it up. You're welcome to the program, ma'am. Thank you very much, Honorable. Thank you so much, Janet, for coming. You're welcome. I mean, it's always a pleasure for us to get somebody who can accept uh, to honor our invites. It's, it's an honor for us. I am us. much obliged. <laughs> yeah. Of, uh, yeah. We have to serve humanity. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you from the entire team uh, at Civic Space and particularly this program, we are delighted to host you. And uh, when they requested you to come on board, I was delighted because the topic we are talking about today is very, very important. And uh, many people have limited knowledge about it. Personally, I could say it's an area that I don't know much. And when we read the statistics, it's, it's alarming that all this is happening in our society. So we'd like to talk about mental health with you in detail and uh, help us understand what is going on in our community, okay. basically with what also you do as okay. safe places. <laughs> so we'll start from there. But uh, before we discuss the detail of you know, mental health issues in Uganda, I'd like just to know this great leader. <laughs> <laughs> this, this and how was the making of Janet Katana, really? Yeah. Janet Kantalama Katana. Absolutely. Kantalama. I've got it. Yes. Yeah. Janet Kantalama Katana mm. is a psychologist mm. who, um, who is honored to be in that field. Okay. <laughs> it's a great one. Yes. Mm. I was born uh, some few years back uh, in Wakiso. Just here. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I'm a so you don't, have, you don't have a village yeah. as of now? No, 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 no. Mm. Actually, uh, I was born in a place called Bandwe. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is on Old Massacre Road. Right. Like now. 15 kilometers from city center. From city center. The yes. CBD. Yes. Okay. It's interesting that some people are just born in the city here. They don't have a village to call a village. And things are changing greatly. Mm, in but our... when we were born, it was a village. It was a village, of course. <laughs> we even used to see, hunt and uh, you know, dig. But mm -hmm. now yeah. uh, the, the city has expanded. Absolutely. And swallowed up our village. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So. Okay, so how was it like growing up in that place? In Bandway. Bandway. Um, mm. Yes, I grew up, uh, in, uh, okay, my family is unique, so maybe I can just speak about that. Mm. I grew up in an extended family. My father, um, the late Ramunyongu Williams, was mm. the firstborn of five boys. And uh, he was, the, as was then the culture, the firstborn would take care of the all, younger the, all the young ones. Oh, okay. mm. And uh, they happened to have lost their, their father mm. along the way. Mm. So the firstborn took up the role of also fathering. Mm. So when, we, when, when they grew up, they grew up as, 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 a, I mean, as a team. So my uncle is my father. Mm -hmm. my, all, all the four others who came about are my brothers. fathers. All their children are my brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. Mm. We all grew up, were born and grew up in the same place. We all partook of mm. what was available to us. So the <laughs> uniqueness of my family is, as a child, it was something that we were very proud of. Would go for holidays and all of all us. over, and we are we are over over thirty people in one setting. In one setting of almost relatively the same age. Wow. You know? So it was, it was a wonderful time. That's what this current generation misses, growing yes. up in that communal setting where you are a child of everyone, yes. your uncles, your aunties. But yes. looking at you, Janet, you yes. must have taken a lot of milk growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering in your <laughs> case. <so. laughs> yes, and we actually did have our cows mm -hmm. because uh, my, my parents uh, were pastoralists yes. before. Mm. Uh, they, were, you know, uh, they would rear their cows up to date. Uh, we have cows at our home mm -hmm. in Wakiso. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have cows. Mm -hmm. And then later became industrialists. Oh, yes. So they are also now very, very enterprising industrialists who are very hardworking, mm -hmm. 
gentlemen mm, mm, mm. over different caliber that wow. I have not seen before. Mm. So they have a very big impact. They've had a very big impact in your life. Even much as my father died when I was a very young girl, I did not feel the pre present. I mean the absence. Ah, the absence of a father. Yes, I did not feel the absence mm. of my of my father, and neither did my siblings. Feel it. Feel it. Mm. Because uh, the brothers, my uncles, my fathers took up the role that my biological father would have, would have done. Wow. So uh, mm. that is why I say I speak to it because it's unique and it made a person. It made me uh, a, a person that I am today. But I think so, as women, we have to celebrate fathers yes. one of these days and put more attention on yes. the fathers that we have had in our lives. Because hosting women here, every great woman has a, a father. Has a story, even if it's not a father, has a story a of a story, gentleman. Yes, of a gentleman. Who has been there for them. So for me, mm. I can tell you absolutely that my, my, my fathers, you know, my fathers, the great men, uh, people, are, they normally know them as, I mean, many people know them as Chidawali mm. men because that is their business end. They are the owners of, uh, of some factories yeah. called Chidawali men. Mm. But they are very hardworking. Very hardworking. They are very down to us mm -hmm, gentlemen mm -hmm. they are very virtuous gentlemen mm. and they instill that character in us in, when in we, you we we knew that it can only be hard work so where are the women in their lives because a lot of times we talk a lot about the woman's contribution mm. in raising children mm. we seem to leave out the role that the men mm. the fathers the brothers the uncles that they do in the lives of, of, of women but i would like to pick from your story where the women were the women are there my mother uh -huh. she's called solome mm. in Iramo, which is also my friend yeah because now in adulthood yes, yes. you have that friend mm. so having come from such an extended family yeah we also always wanted the safe space uh -huh. and so our mothers in that huge environment provided our safe spaces mm. they did the detail they did the detail she's the one who made sure that you go to school smart mm -hmm. You know, with your hair properly with cut. Your hair properly cut. You remember those small things we would have? I don't know in my language, it's called them, maybe the white ones in the hair. Yes, 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 yes those ones. <laughs> yeah, that they are so, so mine was very thorough mm -hmm. and particular. She was a, she's a very smart woman. So never at any one point did you go to school with a dirty uniform. You know? With even we, when there were no resources, mm. even when the resources were mig I mean, like you know, little, shared and mm, you know, scattered. Yes. Mm. Very, very, because we came from very humble background. Uh, yeah. As I told you, they were pastoralists. Mm. They only mm. later came into industrial. Industrial, use. you know, with the value addition of agriculture, probably. Yes. Yeah, no, no, they, they went into mm. baking. Okay. They are actually bakers. Oh yeah. Yes, and they've been baking from 1977. That's a great one. <laughs> That's a good legacy. So, so of... they have, they've been baking for a while. Yeah. And all, you know, most of us have gone into the family business. Ah. They've added on to their core business of baking mm. and now they've become a miller. Yes. They have become, so they have added on to mm. and, and brought in mm. the family as well, the different but boys. Your family is a very mm. good role model in the country in the yes. sense that, you know, their family is that nurture a skill and ensure that they develop that skill and pass it on even to their children. Yes. We are very poor at that as a country. Yes, You know, are. parents do something and then they abandon it. They don't pass it on to their kids mm. instead of nurturing that skill and pass it on. Because mm. when we read uh, the history of other countries, there are factories, industries, which started 200 years ago. Yes, they're and family, now, mm, family industries. Yes. And then they come and become generation after generation. Generation. So they are still on the first generation trying to pass on those. So it is upon the second generation to mm. take up and run with it. Wow. You know? So, but for them, on their part, they have done their part and they have nurtured the different very very many young boys and girls so and you're also a baker community. of some sort <laughs> yes by extension <laughs> when I'm i come a, to your house yes. i will enjoy some nice little <laughs> cakes extension, yeah, i'm a baker okay yeah, by extension i'm a baker wow yes yeah, so that is where i came from mm. and that's where I, I i was born and raised and then i started my journey they educated us mm. and yet they came from no education. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. but they gave us education. Mm -hmm. I went to mm -hmm. a boarding mm -hmm. primary school. Mm -hmm. I went to Gayaza High School. Wow. Thereafter, mm -hmm. O and A level. Mm -hmm. As long as you are, because you, they, they made sure that you can attain the education that you are yeah. not able to get. After Gayaza High School, I got um, maybe. God favored me. <laughs> <laughs> you were in a good school. Yeah, you were in a good school. 
I went to Makere University. On a government scholarship. Yes, on a government scholarship. <laughs> That's why I like this discussion. The Honorable, Right Honorable Speaker uh, Taewa has started yes. that you see the scholarships we give mm. are given to children from rich families mm. but also from good schools. Rather, mm. we should target the others who cannot afford university mm. education and so they have to work hard. But you see, Honorable, what do you think? my parents were not well to do. At that time? They were not at mm. that time. Mm. They only wanted the best for me and they then when my grades in primary took me to Gayaza, mm. I was not a rich man's daughter. child. Yes, yeah. in mm. Gayaza. Mm. I was not. Mm. Mm. I was actually those who don't say their parents' names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the parents are not known anywhere. <laughs> oh, they are not known. They yeah. ask, you say Nalumunye or is Nalumunye? Oh, Nalumunye, I mean, yeah, really. You see? Yeah. So that argument is also, it is good in one area, but mm -hmm. also how will you gauge mm. the level of earning of this but person? But Jan, Jan, really in Uganda, mm. clearly you can see the yes. dichotomy between the children who are well-to-do mm. and the others. They go to public schools, visits the, the private. But also now you mm. in this generation, you'll of course opt to take your schools, children to the same schools, mm. Gayaza here mm. and there, but you can afford. Yes, I can be able to afford yeah. at the moment. Mm. But then the, there's that other one, odd parent. Who will strive? Who will sell their cows? Mm -hmm. Who will, you know sell their their lease out their land mm. to take their child where their academic uh, abilities can, can take, be nurtured? Can be nurtured. Can mm. also can they can take them. So, for example, if I came from you know a school of primary school, by then Saint Teresa and Amidiango. I went there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I See? went there for two years. Uh -huh. Yes. So I went. Yeah. I was from. Well, I was from Stella Maris. Actually, to be specific, I sat my primary school from St. Teresa. Same. At that time. So you imagine when we were in St. Teresa, we were not of the caliber no. of rich parents. No, no, not Isn't at it? all. Mm. So mm. You, your parents strive to take you to a, a, a you know, midway school, then you score well, then mm. you went, you go to, you get admission mm -hmm. to Gayaza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they don't have me, they have to make sure that you attain that. Wow. So that argument is good, but you know, you need to know that there will be that odd. No, there will be always someone who is in need of it. Yes. Okay. So, uh -huh. so you're finished Gayaza in Makerere. Yes. You have not gone into baking. Uh, but no, I have been I have been working at least in the family business from as as, as young, young as, as six years. Oh yeah. 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 As young as six mm -hmm. years. So there is no part of that business that I do not you, know yes, yes. about. Mm -hmm. Even in P7 work I would be working in holidays. For us our fathers would not leave you in bed. at home. You wake yes. up at six o'clock, equally like friend, the rest. <laughs> <laughs> you get out. <laughs> five o'clock. Yes. So how do they leave you? He and trained you to work. The boys. Mm -hmm. the boys wouldn't leave them whatever time. He gets up, you're out. You're out. Out of it. They get up, that you're out of it. Wow. So yeah, we go into, uh, uh, go into Gayaza. Mm. I mean, I go into University. Makere University. Mm. I study psychology. How I got to study psychology is also something of a miracle. Mm -hmm. Career day mm. at Gayaza. So they bring us people to speak to us. Uh -huh. Specifically, it was uh, Dr. Ruth Senyonyi for me. Mm. And I probably don't think even she remembers, but they would bring, occasionally bring people to The come mother and... of the current MP? No, 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 no. Oh. No, no. no. Okay. The, 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 the Dr. Ruth Senyonyi, she's a counselor. Mm. She was, uh, um, uh, um, yes. Counselor, basically. Yes. Mm. Because I had only had two options available to me, mm -hmm. law and psychology. Those two. Those two. <laughs> I wasn't going into science. Uh -huh. uh, so I thought guys are actually channel girls to go to, you know, the science yes. related no, courses. No, they are there. Yes, you go to science, mm. but also you're, cho you're choosing. It's but important. clearly I had come out and I was enjoying us. Oh, Even yeah. much as I was doing sciences oh, fairly yes. well. Mm. You, and you could have easily, if someone had channeled me, I would have gone there. But remember, my parents were not... Um, they were educated, not educated, so they didn't have that prior knowledge. Uh -huh, they were yeah. not educated. Mm. As long as I performed well, they That's were happy with me. Mm. Okay, mm. so I go and then I pick that psychology. So when I was applying, I put it as my first choice. Woo. Surprisingly, <laughs> who, does think, yes, who does that? Who does that? And with such good grades, you, yes. you know, they would expect you to go for law, you know, business, yeah, administration, you know, communication, That's one. those kind of things. I put it as my first choice with my, I think by then we were going out of 25 points. Huh? I think I had 23 out of, 25, out of 25 and I went for my psychology. Just like that, straight up. Straight up. No regrets, nothing. So I fell into it accidentally, ah. but when I happened for psychology, I loved, loved it. it. Interesting. 
interesting because in the history of Gayaza and other old girls, I would think you are just a number, very few who have done psychology. Yes. <laughs> the yes. rest are into other things, law, sciences, mainstream, hardcore things, as they call them. Yes. So, at least of us of that time, because it was relatively new at Makero, yeah. psychology was relatively yeah. new. Yeah. So I, I enter and, I, and the topics I'm studying are so relatable. Mm. Remember my background of growing up in many people. Yeah. And, you know, many people, with many people, if you have any oddities, you always stand out. You know, many, I grew up in a very big family. So everything that we were studying in psychology, I would, I would apply. Related with you. Relate. Wow. Relate. Mm. Because it's just basically learning human behavior. Mm -hmm. The human behavior, human... So now you are human. studying me. <laughs> <laughs> we can have that one also. Okay. You can tell how I'm thinking and those yeah, things. Tell how I'm thinking. We, we can <laughs> make of, we can, because we cannot say that I, now you're thinking this. Yes. But your thoughts manifest in your behavior. Ah. Your thoughts manifest in your emotions. Okay. You know, uh -huh. if you're feeling sad, that means there's something that you're thinking about that is making you sad. Ah. So when you say, now can you tell what I am thinking? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that's interesting. Yes. Psychology, you have graduated. Yes. Had you been at Gayaza for six years? Yes. Oh, that's great. Yes. Most of the girls, I think, when they go there, they finish their yes. entire years. The school mm. must be wonderful. Oh, it's a lovely place. <laughs> it is, it mm. is a lovely place. Mm -hmm. I think also that, that environment of Gayaza mm. nurtured me. Yeah. You know, it, uh, it gave me, because uh, as I've told you background, I come from a very big family. Mm. I come from a family mm. where, you know, education wasn't like, you know, my mother's a doctor, my yeah. father, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. And then you come into Gayaza where you, you, you're taught into your, being your own person. Uh -huh. You're given that confidence mm. that you can learn. Can once yeah. you can, your grades are good. Like there is, there is nothing that should distinguish you from others. Mm. It makes you believe that you can do everything that you set your mind to okay okay all right so it is a very good nurturing environment it was a good nurturing environment mm -hmm. at least for some of us mm. so because you know also experience as an individual so i i i go into um psychology i do finish finish your I three years it, yes finish it and i excel did I you hold any leadership position yes, in i was a school? deputy i was a deputy yes minister <laughs> Could not speak up for the association of psychologists uh -huh. i love psychology that was friend, big you know? uh -huh. so uh i love psychology i excelled it at it i was very you know um i was very relatable to the my lecturers yeah because of the good grades as it, well yes, the good grades mm -hmm. as well i had mm -hmm. and then i finished i graduated the first class on <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you remind me of my friend who graduated with that first ons and we're like, wow, Gloria, what it. next? <laughs> it was lovely. Yeah, you it know? was. All you can do if, if it's consumer psychology, mm -hmm. you're studying how a buyer buys, how a seller targets a buyer mm -hmm. to buy. Mm -hmm. And here I am in a business where we are selling bread, mm -hmm. you know, so I relate. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about interpersonal relations. What more than the people that you live Can with? Can you imagine how God <laughs> ordered your footsteps? Who would know? I don't know how many years you left mm. university. Mm. Some good years <laughs> down the road, this thing would be the, the, the real deal, a big issue. No one. No one would think. Grace of God. Yeah. Product of grace of God mm -hmm. entirely. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because even when you did psychology, then you say, what are you going to do? After. In Uganda, hey, what are you going what? to do? Who are you going to counsel and all that? It was like yeah. a, a course that didn't have a future. Yes. Mm. That is the thing. Mm -hmm. People did not actually in Uganda. We hadn't yet grasped the importance the, and very critical course of yes, right of now. Yeah. So I did organizational and industrial psychology. Uh -huh. So specifically, there was I had emphasis on the work employees mm -hmm. and the workplace. Mm -hmm. How do you manage the mental? How do you health manage the mental health of that? Mm -hmm. But that is when you specialize. So mm -hmm. you do all the psychology one on one, the first courses, and then in third year, that is when you specifically do the employee, the, you know, workplace tools, how they affect the individual. That kind how of different are you from psychiatrists? Psychiatrists are mm -hmm. medical doctors. Mm -hmm. So a medical doctor who does the first degree of a doctor and then they master. In psychiatry. In psychi yes, in psychiatry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. that's a different psychiatrist, a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. Us, we are behaviorists. Oh, behavior. We, yes. We study the behavior. We assess the behavior. We do psychotherapy. We do behavior intervention. Then the psychiatrist comes in to treat. Ma yes. Okay. 
to medical, provide the medical intervention. Yes, yes medical interventions. Because as a person, you have to be mm. biology, mm -hmm. medical, mm -hmm. and psychological and social. Psychosocial. Ah, so you combine. Are, that's a human being, complete. Yes. Yes. Very interesting field. Wow, and we are going to go deeper now <laughs> to understand what this whole means. But uh, I want you to now move out from university. How did you start the early university, career? University, I first, the first job that I got, mm. even before we graduated, I think we finished in June and we graduated in, um, was in a bank. Yeah, to do what yes, in a bank? you see, when you're out of, out of there and you have the guts to work, you, you know, you want to work. I go you up just want an income. <laughs> and remember, a small I was salary. At yes, a family business, but by then we were not getting paid. paid. Ah, yeah, you work for the family. No, that was not fair. I did. He <laughs> says I've educated you, <laughs> <laughs> but you need an income now. You're an adult. Yes, I know he eh. knows your needs. Eh -eh. Even when at university, he will give you allowance. Eh. So I have given you everything. Also, you <laughs> I should meet that eh. man. Very, <laughs> Those fathers of yours. Very, they are very, good. Very, it's they a trained, a, a, a unique human beings. Yes, they're yeah. very unique human beings. Mm. So I got to Standard Chartered. I was there for a few months. Um, and then uh, I got called, I actually got into a human resource consultancy firm oh. where we're doing uh, psychometric testing, we're doing interviewing and placing people in the different jobs. Wow. Uh, it's still existing, but it's, uh, it's at uh, uh, Diamond Trust Building. Mm. Uh, so I worked with these people for a short while. Mm. I was there for um, maybe like um, a year. Mm -hmm. So while I was there, my lecturers called me. Again, come and lecture or what no, now? No, no, no. Hey. It was Professor Vaguma. It was Professor Peter Vaguma. He's still there at uh, psychology. He tells me, Kantarama, where are you? I said, you know, I'm here. And he said, come. I said, okay. You have to go and do master's in psychology. Just like that? Yes. Hey? You see, Scholarship God's waiting for you. God's favor. <laughs> oh, for yes. you, God's favor has been hey? too much. God's favor. Hey? And it's a grace of God. It is. So I and he calls me says there's this opportunity. Mm. I think you could be, you know, a good fit for it. Come and see me. I go to Makere. I was at work. I go to Makere. He tells me apply here, 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 and here. Takes me through the application, and I, I got a scholarship for Masters hey. of Science in Psychology hey. at the University of Lene in Sweden. Just like that. Grace of God. Wow. Wow. So because I love psychology, because I, you know, I enjoyed psychology. I, Absolutely. Now, God gives you another opportunity to go to another country and see how they do it, and how they, they practice. It. Yeah. And let me tell you, Honorable, those people love human beings. They study human beings. Absolutely. They, 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 they want to understand. The conduct, the, the behavior. Of a person. Mm. So I go and do Master of, Science, of Science in Psychology. It was an enlightening course. Absolutely. Mm. And I come out uh, like a more better psychologist, mm -hmm. a more passionate person, because they find a reason for everyone's behavior. Uh -huh. If you're not performing well in class, there is a reason. That it could be a learning disability. Okay. Have you tested that? Mm. It could be a memory problem. Uh -huh. Have you tried to check out the person? Mm -hmm. It could be a, a grasping that they do not the uptake. Okay. Okay. It could be this person cannot see the letters. Dyslexia is seated. Very far from the blackboard no, or cannot, something. Mm. They cannot code. Their mm. eyes cannot coordinate. Yes, to ah. to pick the letters together. So ah. that is a kind of person. Ah. If a person is behaving a certain way, why is the person? Wow. So the observation, the investigation, mm. the learning that mm. you put into mm. a human being mm. was mm. wonderful. You are now a master. Yes. You've got your masters. <laughs> yes. What did you do with it? I come back mm -hmm. and you know we have to make a living. I apply for a job in the in the ministry of public service. There was an opening for training mm -hmm. and uh, capacity building. I apply and out of uh, the hundred people who applied, I got the position. Oh, wow. <laughs> ministry of uh, Finance, Finance planning, planning and Economic Development. Do you want now in, in money training. again? Training. Because there, there are people. There are people. Okay? Mm -hmm. There are people who need soft skill training, there are people who need uh, empowerment, there are okay. people who need mm. as long as there are people, there is a job for psychologists. Mm. Yes. That's interesting. Because that is our core subject. I thought that is for social workers. You can say that. Mm -hmm. Social workers. Where social there workers, is a human being, social workers are needed. Where but, there is a person, psychologists <laughs> needed. <laughs> so we can turn that okay. around. That's so, nice. Uh, so I go into Ministry of Finance and I was there for a number of years. Um, I think about six and then at that um, 
that mark I, I, I felt like I was only using one part uh -huh. of the information. A small one, moreover. Yes. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was only using a small part of it. Mm -hmm. So I consult one of my bosses and he says, but if you feel like you really, you know, are not using, what can you do? I said, I don't know, maybe should I, if I'm to stay here, then maybe I should get more into, you know, training and do another course. Or if not, I go do the bigger, the wider thing. Mm. So he tells me, so what is the easiest way? What is the safest way? <laughs> you know, because you have to, you also have to earn. Mm. So I said, okay, you know what? Let me apply for another master's oh. and go study. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that when I come back, I am specific in one area. Yeah. So I applied for leave uh, by then, study leave. And as, as you know, faith or as life or as God guides God has ordered, steps, yes. yes. As mm. God orders our steps. Mm. An incident happened at, uh, at, my, at my home. A gate, you know the sliding gate? Mm -hmm. A gate fell on my son. <gasps> Woo! My survived. Born, he survived. Hey. But he broke a leg. Mm -hmm. He was, you know, injured. He was Hospitalized. And I was home that day when mm. it happened. So mm. it basically it disorganized me and it got me thinking. Where am I even thinking about leaving my children? I know. For another <laughs> yeah. master. You know what? I already have the skills <laughs> yes. to do this. Mm. So I was like, you know what? Enough. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I'm not, I had already asked for leave. Mm -hmm. I said, no. Let me go to the family business. Mm. Let me go to the family business because at least there I had a backup. I was like, you know, while I try to figure out. And by then my parents were bringing on a new project. So they said, come. Come, come and, and support us. Come and we work. Yeah. Come and support us. Mm. So I go, where they were putting up a very big project for milling. Mm. To have flour milling. Mm. Mm. With flour. Mm. Mm. So I go there and I say, no, I'm, I'm okay. I will work when I can. Mm. And then at the end of the day, I also have my skills. Okay. So, mm. so I, we sit on the table and I say, okay, I can do this and this. Why not? What, what about the income now? You have now, a family. Yes, I have a family. Uh -huh. I have a husband. Mm. And I have, by then I had a uh, Two children. Already? Yes. Uh -huh. two How would you already. take care of them? Two children already. Mm. So I was like, no, but when you're coming, so I, I was going to get paid. Ah, this yes, time. This time. <laughs> it is the first time because prior I was not. Uh, for all the times I've been working for the family. Okay. So this time round I'm getting uh -huh. paid. A small check. Hey, I said, okay. So I come in, I get together with my siblings, we start working that side. But also on this side, I had always had um, the dream of putting psychology to use. Okay. And I had had a friend mm. that I had studied with. Mm. He also got a scholarship mm. and he's Ugandan, uh, but he was like slightly uh, ahead of me. Mm. So I said, but why don't we do the things we see here back in Uganda? It had always been there, but we didn't have the resources. Even getting into a job, it's because we didn't have resources to do that exactly. Yeah, to start up. Mm. The value that people placed on psychology and the way they treated their people we said we want to give alternatives. Wow. If we can afford to have alternatives in Uganda, mm. that would be a lovely thing. Mm. Mm. So for him, he stayed uh, in Sweden for some few years, was working. And then me, I came back down here. But he, we said that we would, at one point, have to do this. I said, we have to put those nice hospitals, all those nice things that we've seen there, here. Here. In Uganda. Yeah. So by then, when there was this career change from you know, now service, public service, to private, to private mm. and he's still there and says, but I'm coming home. Mm. Mm. He said, okay, come and we work. He comes. So he came and the landing, of course, you know, when you come from this and then you come settle and the landing down, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he tried to settle in. Then I said, but this is our time mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. you, you do not have what, like, you've not yet farmed up your plants. I have not yet farmed up my plants. Let us start whichever way. We start. We start. Mm -hmm. So we started looking for houses. We got together the paperwork, done the paperwork. Registered. Registered. Mm. Uh, pulled resources. Mm. Let's start. Wow. Safe places now. Uganda. Is born. Safe places <laughs> is born. 2017. Eh? Just recently. 2017. Hey. Safe wow. places is Safe born. Safe places is born. How, How many of such it? kind of things were already there? Uh, by then there was serenity, which was doing mostly drug mm. and substance, mm. and I didn't know others apart from serenity, um, yeah, serenity was, and yeah. mm. Mm. And then I got to know others when I was already in, in the field. In the field, that's mm. when I got to know the others. Okay. But by then mm -hmm. the prominent one was those mm. serenity mm. and Mutavika. Mm. And first we're saying we are not only doing only substance; we are doing mental, neurological, and substance. The whole range. 
of services. Mm. So we got to get to know the people in the in the in, in the, the field, field mm. and we even approached them and got into partnership with, with them. Some, yes, some, with some of them. them. Mm. Okay, some senior members in psychiatry and you know who had been in the field. Then we started looking for resources to 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 rent. And when it came to rent, we wanted a very nice place because of we course. had a picture. Mm, we needed, you know. <laughs> you know, we had mm. a picture, but mm. it also came with implication. Yeah. Then uh, we got our act together, we got our resources together, then we started the places, we got people on board, our colleagues, and then we started. Wow. So remember, I was half time the other side, mm -hmm. and my friend was full time here. Wow. My colleague. Wow. I would like to here. ask you what, mm. how it is starting up something like a social enterprise like that, the challenges associated for anyone who would like to, you know, get strengthened in that area because mm. many people would like those kind of experiences. But before we go there, mm. I just wanted to capture what you people are doing at Safe Places in detail. Okay. What are the services? How can our, you know, viewership take so advantage? So Safe Places Uganda is a private mental neurological and substance use uh, center. What do you mean by that? Uh, we treat. Mm -hmm. We treat, we prevent and also treat. You prevent and treat. Yes, because you know sometimes, because we know mental illness mm -hmm. does not just come out of, we start with mental health, the good part, mm. then we descend mm. into illness. Mm. That if we do not uh, take care of our mental health, mm. then we go into disease, ah. the, the poor mental health mm -hmm. of a person. So what okay? causes mental health? Mental health is I know, I mean ill health. Uh -huh, exactly. Yes. So mental health is a, is everyone has mental health, just yes. like physical health. Uh -huh. Okay. But mental illness, on the other hand, is a disease. Mm. So the disease is also caused by three. As I said, we are bio biological, mm -hmm. we are psychological, mm. and we are social. Mm. So even the causes fall in those categories. Okay. It can be biological causes, for uh -huh. example, if you are born with a, a brain, I mean chemical imbalance. Okay. Or when you had a traumatic experience, uh, yes, injury oh, on, yeah? on the brain, oh, yeah? or when your mother took alcohol, when you old substances, when you are, you know, the neonatal, you know, um, in the womb, in the womb, or outside immediately. Oh mm. yes, those things. Mm. Or when in the formation, you, you know, those are the biological. Okay. When your gene, mm. you have gene, your, your your people that you are born of have that history, yes, mm. of mental illness. Yeah. That is a biological. Bit Understood. Of it. Then the psychological mm. is, for example, trauma. You know, in case you've gone through war, mm -hmm. in case you have been raped, mm. in case you have, you know, in case you have uh, been abused, mm -hmm. emotional mm -hmm. abuse, mm -hmm. physical, physical abuse, yes, yeah, psychological, psychological abuse. even economic. Yes, whatever. <laughs> yes, as long as you have been abused. Yes. You know? mm. So there are those, the psychological elements of it. Stress, you know. So environment. Yes. So the environment we live in. Yes. Okay. Mm. What is the prevail? What are the prevailing conditions? Ah, poverty. Poverty. Is it you know because we also have there's a very high correlation between poverty and mental and illness. mental illness breakdown you know? of people's lives, mm. businesses, yes. so many things. The environment yes. as you talk about. Is it a is it a, a very um, abusive family you're you growing are growing up in? Yes. What is that environment you're experiencing? Ah. So in combination or in in one or two, mm -hmm. they come together and they bring about illness poor mental health that goes into illness, illness. okay uh-huh <laughs> now the illness is there what what services that safe, safe places so these these issues result yes. into which type of mental because you know we don't seem to even understand what mm. mental illness is composed so simply, of mm. honorable mental mm. illness is something that affects the way you think mm -hmm. the way you feel mm -hmm. and the way you behave mm. we all have thoughts we all have feelings we all have behavior yeah so when it, uh, it affects it to the negative and stipulated period of time mm -hmm. because you can be sad for some time for some time mm. but not all the time okay or not that you're always on and off sadness mm -hmm. that there is moderation yes but if you for for one reason or another okay if your moods dictate that you don't eat mm -hmm. you know so if the thoughts are affected if the emotions are affected or for example you you get angry mm -hmm. the magnitude of anger that you have for the stimulus or whatever has caused that anger that the anger is way above, above. you know yeah so that is the way that the is affecting extreme. your emotion mm. you know mm. or the way you behave mm. behavior can be in the way you eat if you're eating a lot or not if mm -hmm. you're not sleeping or not mm -hmm. if you're using substances or not mm -hmm. you're drinking too much mm -hmm. or not mm -hmm. you have a, you know like um those uh the way you like you're yes. snapping uh -huh. you're, that kind of thing. Yes. Okay. So do we call those effects of 
so those are some of the symptoms. Symptoms, right? Of, yes, they can manifest in all the three in the in the the thoughts, mm -hmm. cognition, mm. emotions, mm -hmm. behavior, mm. and even the physical. Mm. You can get physical illness or physical symptoms out of uh, mental health conditions. Wow, wow, wow. Okay? That's a very interesting area. Very. So now the symptoms are all over. Yes. How can we be able to okay. see which, you know, somebody needs help through the symptoms we see in society? What are the common, common ones? So the symptoms, as I've told you, they're in categories. Yeah. Okay, so one thing that you have to know is for you to notice that something has changed, you have to know what it was. Mm. So for you to know that your friend is not okay, mm -hmm. you have to first know how, how that person was. You, you develop a baseline behavior uh -huh. for that person. Okay. And you know the issue we are talking about is not easily identified. And it can also be attributed to very many things. The first thing people will say they attribute it to witchcraft. Mm -hmm. They will attribute it to spiritual things. Mm -hmm. They will attribute it to all these other things before they attribute it to an illness. Okay. Bad manners, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You know, all uh, those. Yes, 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 yes. So, but for you to be able to know this person, you have to know. What, what has changed about them? About them. Mm -hmm. mm. If you say these days, these days, Monica is always sad. It's always sad. She used He's always in her life. room, locked up. Mm -hmm. Or he's always, you mm. know, having sleeper, mm. you know, sleep disorders, wakes mm. up so late, you mm. know. Or these days, the mm. way you're drinking. Mm. It's too much. It's too much. It's excessive. You have to know that I was either not drinking or, or drinking very minimal. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So for you to know that these days you easily get annoyed. What about the physical, you know, <clears throat> sometimes physical appearances, physical <clears throat> conduct? Physical conduct, physical can be used to take care of yourself, uh -huh. but you're not taking care of yourself. Uh -huh. You even don't mind that you're shabby. Ah. Uh -huh. You know? Uh-huh. You used to be... Uh, <laughs> that sizable. can be a sign of yes. mental illness. Yes. You used to be sizable, but you're losing weight. Wait. They don't understand you're yes, losing weight. Yes, what's happening? Or you used to be small, but now you're... Ah, yeah. you're now expanding and bouncing. Oh, yeah, you know, yes, it can, it goes either way. Mm, mm, mm. You, can, you can sleep too much, or, mm, or, too mm. or you can eat too much. Or too so, some little. of the you things we actually weight, you mm. can not gain weight. Mm. You can be sad, you can be extremely happy. happy. You can be, you know, so all the swing states. Wow, of that person. Wow, okay. Mm. So, but for you to be able to notice, you have to be critical, critical. you have to look at a sister mm. and take care of their no. That something has gone something has gone wrong. You have certainly. to know that your child mm -hmm. is not behaving like the child that, that you know. he used to know. You have to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're getting it. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to be in position to know that child ah. for you to know. Janet, you are helping someone here <laughs> because this kind of information cannot just come easy. Yes. You know, mental health is an issue which we are not very comfortable talking about yes. in families. Yes. You know, it's assumed, you know, when, and it's also a laughable area. So when you talk and say, I am uh, having mental issues and all that. I mean, people well, don't take it well. There's a lot of stigma attached uh -huh. to it. Mm -hmm. it's, not even a, it's shameful. Uh -huh. So people do not say out or they do not seek help because of the stigma that is related to it. Mm. So with such opportunities of talking about it, we are normalizing the conversation. Oh, wow. Every opportunity that you get, you, you can talk start about with you. It. You talk about it. Mm -hmm. Or act it. Mm. Or say it. Mm. Or take care of it. Start mm. with your own individual area of influence. Wow, this is very important. And I wish we could talk more <laughs> about it because in this one hour we can't exhaust. So I'm just trying to pick here and there. Yes. So I just want you to sort of point us to some mm. of the problematic areas because we hear a lot of mm. talk right now in Uganda that mm. children are having so many problems. Yes. Do you have programs? First, I want to know what are some of the telltale signs mm. that are, you know, children are involved in this kind mm. of thing. There is drug abuse. There is mm. al is alcohol also a drug? It's a it's it's yes, a substance. A you substance can call it abuse. Alcohol, yes. Okay. It's, a, it's alcohol. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a liquid. It's a, something that you take in mm. so that can easily be abused. So, what are the common, uh, you know, types of mm. people that come to you that need help? Um, we actually have ever since the pandemic, mm. all conditions ah. there have been increase in numbers of all conditions. Okay. Okay. Mm. And the conditions of mental illnesses are as many as three hundred. Yeah. There are as many as we are individual. Ooh. Because we are all individual people and we all have thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Mm. We all behave differently. Mm. Okay? Mm. Mm. But there are those common ones mm -hmm. that, that keep recurring. Recurring. You know? Mm. There is the, the depressive disorders. Mm -hmm. Those are mood disorders that you know. Yeah. That are consistently low. Mm -hmm. There are anxiety. Mm -hmm. We know anxiety as it is. 
you know that that feeling the fearful feeling that you have mm. but now when it becomes more than just that one off or it exceeds the period and the severity mm. of the the fear that you have the anxiety disorders mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. there is the <coughs> bipolar the eating disorders eating disorders okay mm. the eating disorders mm. there is substance use addiction mm -hmm. addiction mm. let's just term it as addiction, addiction. all behavior <coughs> including gambling including yeah. pornography yeah. including alcoholism okay. including cannabis mm -hmm. use that is weed mm -hmm. including cocaine mm -hmm. all the drugs are with us wow there is no way that we you know our, the children were exposed so much during this that, two years, years that of, we were yes. at home mm. the, the things were already there but now it this brought it to the forefront wow. even that one who was who was experimenting in the stage of experimenting mm. what time and to got addicted probably check, yes. mm. check more and to access more because they were not in restricted environments wow this sounds scary <laughs> but it's, it's also scary because so, you see we are talking yes. and we are with as a society everyone should be able to do something to save our you know our future because what is running in my mind is yeah. how gross you know you know what are the, the the statistics can we call it a pandemic at the moment mental it, ill health it is a what are the pandemic. numbers the numbers yes mm. uganda has no numbers per se but mm -hmm. we can see globally mm. there has been an exponent like a very high rise mm -hmm. in the numbers mm. it's even in uganda there have there have been high numbers high rises in these numbers we have not yet done a conclusive or extensive study or st i mean research into it but the indicators the there was indicators. a study which published claiming 14 million is that too much yes it's no it is not too mm. much actually mm. it is not too out much. of 43 14 million ugandans that is not too much mm. because you have to look at it i've told you there are as many as almost 300 disorders mm. there are as many as i mean there are different levels there is the levels in severity mm. you know mm. And then you also have to look at it that the, 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 the causal, the causal factors yes. have been, the risk factors yeah. have been very alive. Mm. If you're talking about stress, if you're talking about poverty, if you're talking about trauma, these children have been abused in their homes. Homes. You know, they, they have been uh, uh, exposed to early sexual, you know, intercourse. I know. They mm. have uh, given birth at young ages. Mm. You know? mm. They have uh, been, if it's uh, when a quarrelsome or abusive, uh, uh, family they have had that exposure yeah. for that period of time yeah. then also the financial bit of it there has been levels of poverty in the families in the family yes domestic Think, violence yes so the risk factors mm. have been because we, the, the illnesses come out of the risk factors not the protective ones mm. so they have been very alive so many during this period mm -hmm. so yes the numbers we might not have a figure in at going with a global statistic that, that rises mm, is high eminent, eminent. yes okay. wow it's it's an interesting area so that is one you said substance mm -hmm. use mm -hmm. for for the children okay now we're seeing suicide suicide yes is on the increase the rates i don't know if i saw a seen. recent one last week only last week they mm. were like last week they were like three three cases yes of students students yes Yes, because they have gone through these things and they do not have an avenue to vent out to 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 actually even seek help. Mm -hmm. They do not know how to deal with these feelings that they are feeling, or the things that they are experiencing. Wow, they have not had that opportunity. As parents, we've not created self. We are busy looking for know? money. Exactly, and yeah. it's also no, you don't. The economy is also it's biting, tight. Yes, yeah. so, so you have to work <laughs> extra. <laughs> <laughs> to take care of this large family so you don't have time to know whatever every child is busy up to you know doing so the suicide rates are also rising uh we have already talked about substance the anxiety levels uh, anxiety and because now they have to do a lot of things they're catching up people feel like i'm 17 i'm a senior three mm. you know, life is leaving me. me i need to move faster you feel like you're not you know ah. big, going at the speed oh, of the others mm. the peer pressure anxiety yes there. so all these disorders mm. are manifesting more so i want to know them. janet mm. what you and your teams are doing because okay. as you give us that mm. picture for me i'm scared really as a, a human ugandan <laughs> but a parent Yes. I, I have this fear that this thing is too much in the society. So what are you doing in terms of prevention? As safe places, yeah. we do awareness. Mm -hmm. As ma any opportunity that we get, is it a school that we are? Is it a, are the campaigners that we can get together with? Is it a TV like here? Is it a, 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 our small groupings? So we are doing awareness of the problem. Mm -hmm. Awareness of the preventive <coughs> measures. Yeah. 
and we're also telling them that if you're already there, there is help. There is help. There is, help. There is what? There is help. There is help. Mm. So that is at safe places, mm. together with the different partners mm. in the mental health mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. We are trying to do a lot of, of course, a lot more can be done, and we are calling upon people to join us in all in all areas. You have to know that whatever you're doing has, if you're not well mentally, you, yes, can't, do you it. can't be effective. You cannot be effective. You cannot be productive. Yeah. Then at self places, because we also have private treatment center, uh -huh. then we are treating. Oh. Okay. Okay. We do a consultation psychiatrist. We make uh, professionals available mm. at a relative. The, uh, fair price. Fair price. Yes. <clears throat> you know, in a private setting, because we you know there was also stigma related to the other. I, the public. Yes. Uh, going to mainstream Butavika and things like that, you're mixed up with so many things. So, for, uh, availing alternatives mm. for people that, yes, these alternatives are there. Come and get the help that you need. That is also one. And we do both outpatient and inpatient. You can come and consult and go, you can come for therapy and go, and you can also come and get admitted. For some time. For some time, yes. Mm. And that is at, at Chambogo. And also we are in terms of, of getting a, you know, a fast a facility. Rate, yes, a fast rate facility. Yeah. Specifically <clears throat> put in place for this. What I didn't tell you about mental illness is anyone is a candidate. Everyone. Because you have I was emotion. going to ask you, what about <laughs> us in offices? <laughs> because <laughs> we are in this workspace and the environment is so strenuous. Mm. Don't we end up with mental health issues? Issues, yeah. issues yes. How, what are you doing about the, the office space? Office, apart we are from... also going into the office yeah, spaces yeah. where yeah. we get an opportunity for awareness. We, go into, we are approaching human resource managers. We are approaching, mm. um, um, uh, we are approaching uh, the, the owners of businesses. To tell them about this mm. because their key resources are human resources. The human resource. And I told you, anyone who has a human, I mean, any, any, where a person is, there is a, yes, a psychologist. Yes, there are psychologists <laughs> there. Yeah, I and, got that and one. So we do employee assistance programs, mm. we do psychosocial support programs mm. for different organizations. And uh, we come in, we do a needs assessment, see what, what is it that is most afflicting your organization wow. that you might need. Mm. Is it that maybe if you're in the credit section of the bank, that your, your targets, the pressure is the too pressure much. The pressure is too much in the banks. And yet people and are now places. defaulting mm. because of like... <laughs> <laughs> the banks are too much. I'm sure because, there are so many candidates there. Because of the economy. Yeah. Because those are the things that we're saying that let us provide, let mm -hmm. us bridge the gap mm -hmm. of care yeah. that is available. Mm -hmm. Because we know that this is alive, this mm -hmm. is with us everywhere, that we can, each of us can fall a victim, a victim. of mental illness. Yes. So put in services that <gasps> you can use. With this financial crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told everyone is crying out there. So do you have more candidates? Yeah, and, uh, yeah we have more candidates. Yeah. Which is not a very because you know, compared to the to the to the economy mm. and the things, mm. people should be productive. Yeah. So if we are getting people getting sicker, then that means the productivity <coughs> goes down. Goes down as so for you, the whole country. You certainly have mm. a lot of work cut out for you yes. and your teams in this sector. Yes. But uh what is making me smile most is that this is being done by a woman. Are you the only person, the only woman in that safe places? Are there others? Actually, I think I think I am uh, I, I am guilty of something. I think eighty percent of the the, the workers there the are women. Workforce. Mm -hmm. Because I know <coughs> that women can do. Yes, yes. I'm not saying men can't do. But, you know, <laughs> men can you do. You bring a sister to the table. But <laughs> um, we celebrate here. We celebrate women who are doing it great, who are doing, you know, impacting society and changing. And from the look of things, from what you're doing, you're certainly changing a lot in society. Thank you. And one or two things here and there, you push, you yes. push back yes. to, you know, you know, many things, challenges mm. in society. So in terms of mental health, I think you have, you are still doing a lot Thank and you. there's a lot to do yes. in that sector. But uh, just to pick your values of leadership now, we want to tilt away from your mainstream work and, yes. you know, mentoring and yes. nurturing other leaders. How has it been like starting up a new foundation? Oh. Oh, <laughs> what is the experience? That is an interesting one. I know. Uh -huh. So imagine mm. you go into a field, mm -hmm. a new field. <clears throat> Where people are saying, why are you doing a mental health hospital? Why don't you do a general hospital where clients will walk in and out? Mm -hmm. That is what already the area you're going into mm -hmm. is, is difficult, is, stigmatized. Yes. Then you go into, you are a woman, right? Mm -hmm. That even the manifestations of some of these illnesses, people said, won't they beat you up? Hey. 
I'm saying because we can sometimes get <laughs> yeah, you know, of course, uh, hostile uh, you know, uh, uh, survivors and, and yeah. And then starting up something is not easy. The trials mm-hmm. of of peop- of you no know, dream bearers. You know the trials of dream bearers. Absolutely, I like that. Uh-huh, you know uh-huh. that is what I can tell you. Mm. That even when you're doing mental health for others, there are challenges as as uh, I mean a startup, a visioner, a vision vi- bearer. Yes. Mm-hmm. That you face that if you're not very careful, you'll be a candidate. Thank you very much. <laughs> but how do you manage? <laughs> Because I see you, you go with it, you go about it with dignity and a smile on your face. Because people do not see the struggle, right? <laughs> The struggle. <laughs> we celebrate <laughs> you. We don't want to know your struggle. <laughs> we don't, we, we don't. want to know the success story. But the struggle, yeah, I can is tell real. You mm. For a fact, <clears throat> is real. Mm. Mm. You have to make this. You are you're struggling at the front. I mean, the front of you have to give good service. Uh-huh. You're working with people, mm-hmm. different people of different interests. Mm. You're working in a difficult. Mm. You actually physically have to put in the work. Of you course. have to put in the resources. Mm. You have your life to lead with four children mm. to to run. <laughs> to manage <laughs> that's the word the yes oh. to, take on, to take on that's crazy so mm-hmm. it might look like we are winning mm-hmm. but, but there's comes. a lot behind it so what you're telling another leader out there is that it doesn't come easy simple you have it, to work it out you have to be you have to determine mm. you have to be ready to walk the course great You have to be persistent. Persistent. I think me that is one thing. But mm. Even when you reached up an area, I didn't tell you something that when we opened up in 2017, <coughs> you mm. see how the numbers are high and whatever. Mm. For the first one and a half years, we didn't get clients. One and a half years, you would have closed already. Hey, so you we were, were paying persist- rent. Uh-huh. We were, we were paying staff. Uh-huh. We had security, utilities. Ah. Because you, I've told you, it's a, a stigmatized area. Yeah. You can't advertise. Mm-hmm. You have to wait for clients to walk in. And then you realize that these clients don't even want to walk in because of the the, the stigma, nature. yeah. Yes, mm. the nature of the of the illness mm. and the suffering. Mm. Mm. Okay? Mm. Mm. So, if you're not grounded, <sighs> that was challenging. If you're not grounded, mm. if you do not see the bigger picture, you would have given up already. <laughs> so those who are starting up businesses of this nature social enterprises it's, it's not as easy and not also it's all. just like the business you know mainstream business yeah because because we do all the, the rest of the business you have yeah. to do the accounting yes. you have to do the human yes. resource management yes. you have to do the clients you know satisfaction and uh, mm-hmm. you know, surveys services and you know, and services, mm, you know? Mm, plan better it is not it I, is I cannot not. say it's, it's not without trials mm-hmm. and i cannot say it is not but on the on the say why how do i do it yeah. support system support system is important okay how do I, do i would it? like just for you, for you to highlight your key values that have kept you going this far you've talked of consistency hard work hard work hopeful and faith faith and being hopeful yes yes because if you do not believe in the in the in the in the good tomorrow mm-hmm. you know that, that something that is going to happen today can you finish know? you today will finish you <laughs> Properly. Oh, wow. <laughs> Today will uh-huh. finish you. Uh-huh. And if you don't, you know, you don't have something to hold on to. Ah. Uh-huh. What is that thing that you, you know, I, I, I'm holding my faith. Wow. In that that grace wow. that has carried me, mm. product of grace, I keep mm. saying, product of mm. grace that that has carried me through. There is a reason why my steps were directed that way into into mental health. And you're doing a lot for you know? society. Thank you very much. I have to remind myself that I'm talking to the ED of Safe Places. Yes. Is that so? Yes. Safe Places uh, Uganda. Yes. And of course you're a police, uh, you know, advocate in one yes. way or another and would like to just think about the future. Yes. What are some of the things we could think about as a country that need to be improved in this area? What more do we need to do? You okay. Know. So in broad mental base. health, mm. broad base. Mm. First of all, I will not shy away to say that we can do a lot more mm-hmm. in all policy and implement planning and implementation for mental health. Mm. If you look at the burden mm-hmm. that we have mm. of mental health, and we look at the resources in all forms and shape, resources with human resources. I don't know if you've heard of the numbers of people who are specifically trained. Resources in the financial. The budget appropriation that goes to mental health. I can't even know. 
because out mm. uh, with the 15% of the entire budget we've not even reached there i think we are at 6% or even for less for mental health if you if you do even a google search you will know that it is less than 1% oh within the bigger framework yes and mm. it is for and I mean non communicable diseases not specifically for mental health okay so i can say we can do much better mm. than that we can also get um a prioritization by all the leaders for mental health mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because we know that for a fact that we, without it that if you're not if your thoughts are not settled if you're not well every other thing it impacts all on all the other you know spheres of your life spheres of life okay mm. so we yes we need to do prioritization we need to get joint effort mm -hmm. of all stakeholders mm -hmm. together mm. is it schools mm -hmm. because we are talking about children they is need to factor it you are saying mainstreaming yes mm -hmm. mainstreaming mm. Uh, in all areas yes put on a mental health lens uh -huh. in whatever you're going to mm. do what mm. is the impact mm. of mm. this mm -hmm. on mental health mm -hmm. and what will be the result so it be it a mm -hmm. bank Yes. Be it an organization, yes. be it a school, yes. be it a, wherever there are humans. Yes. Yeah. Mainstream mm. mental health in all areas. Okay. That's very powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. You as an individual mm. put on a mental, mental health, health lens. lens. What am I going to do? Is how is it going to impact my my mental health and the one of the, my neighbor? Am I safe with this situation? Actually, I want us to wind up yes. from there. Yes. How do you advise individuals yes. that will be watching this video how to take care of their mental health? I think that one is a lovely one as yes. we wind up. Yes. Because yes. you've yes. shared your values of life, yes. although I still wanted more of that, but yes. let's wind up on that. <laughs> so for me as an individual, yeah. what, I, what I keep telling you is kindness. Mm -hmm. Because the world is not short of harshness. Hey, so that <laughs> will prevent me from falling sick. Yes. No, from mental from, illness. From affecting another person's ah, mental from, illness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. Even kindness to self. Uh -huh. You can be kind to self and, and kind others. to others. Mm. Kindness to self is you will listen to yourself. Ah. You will look out for the good. Uh -huh. You will love yourself. Uh -huh. Being kind. Yes. You will think about yourself. You will seek help mm, when of, needed. You know? Mm -hmm. Because you're being loving and kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. Be loving and kind to another person. Do I necessarily okay. have to seek this help from safe places? Yes, yeah, you can seek the help from safe places. As or, I said, we are over, or providing alternatives. Mm. But also there are government institutions. Mm -hmm. There is a national referral. All the referral hospitals have a unit of uh, psychiatric unit. Mm. And then uh, health center falls also have a health worker, mental health worker. Who is trained in that yes, area. Yes, in that area. Mm. So if you cannot seek the government, uh, government available services, service providers, private service providers, safe places is available mm. and we're going to even increase capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe next time we are talking, I'll be, I'll be inviting you to come and we open our second safe place. Oh, wow. You know, that so would that be we nice. can have more, more, a more specialized environment, environment. facility. Mm, yes. But before you reach the facility, are there small, you know, institutions within mm. the society, within the family that we can take advantage? I mean, before I yes. have become a patient. Yes. In terms of mental health, yes. what should be happening? I told you a support system yes. that has taken the, the entrepreneur in me. Uh -huh. Even you as an individual, mm. you need a firm support system. Okay? Mm -hmm. You need people that you can talk to. If it is conversations, can we have those conversations in our homes? Oh. Can we have conversations with our children? Okay. Can we have conversations where you feel like you're getting weighed down? Mm. Find an outlet. Mm. You know, find someone who can, you can you can share. You say a problem. Uh, shared. shared is a problem you solved. Know, if you're not comfortable with the people that are within your circles, uh -huh. seek other avenues. Of if sharing. I'm an introvert, I just want to be myself. But and you see, also introverts have their people. Uh -huh. Introverts have their people that you can be an introvert, but you're not an introvert with someone else. One person or two will be there. They will not have very many, but they will have somebody. Somebody. So I think it's us being vulnerable mm. and us being For able help. to receive other people's vulnerability. Not to box it in yes. and, you know, you know, then the inner you begins mm. to fight within you. And then also as an as individual, you as a person, have good mental health around you. You spread oh. the cheer, you know. Oh. You, be the, you bring the good vibe. 
Wow. Be the vibe then you can infect others. <laughs> no negative vibe. Yes. Oh, we have to go. <laughs> <laughs> this others. one is good. It's a topic that affects everyone. Thank and I you. know that this small bit that we have engaged with Janet here is, is very, very important and impactful in your life. I've been able to pick a few things here Thank and there. You. And I also have where I'm going to improve for my own mental health and Thank the health you. of my family as well as the people I work with, because they, you, you can be a, a leader somewhere and you are a problem to other people yes, as well. Absolutely. So the, the, this word of saying it, the boss, the boss can be a source of mental ill health yes. to other people. Yes. Yes. The environment uh -huh. can be uh, affecting the yes. other people around them. Yes. So that's when you know we set self-awareness. You check yourself mm -hmm. you as an individual. Mm. Check yourself so that you're not the, the one who is bringing. The ill health, the mental Ill illness. Yes. Among its community. <laughs> My sister, we've got to go and uh, you've been a blessing on Thank this particular you. program. This is an area we rarely talk about. And I pray that another time you come back and, you know, talk more on Civic Space TV about these issues for our audiences. And, uh, uh, we have to say bye to our viewership and uh, thank you for being with us this far. We hope that this can, you know, empower you in one way or another. Till we meet again, shalom. Thank you.